How's it going everybody? Thanks for tuning in. It is opening day here in a few states. We've got Karsten over there getting ready with the pack saddle horse and his horse is going to be riding. That Gary over there. We're going to get to it. I'm on my trusty Palomino. So let's get after it. All right, guys kind of got off to a rodeo start <laughs> so Karsten you well obviously now you see the dead bull we found but Karsten had a little bit of a rodeo on the way up but got over the top and he found a deadhead that's pretty sweet we'll get off and take some more video all right got the horses all wrangled up but go ahead and pick that bad boy up Karsten it's not bad bull at all heck yeah congrats man I'll take it. Yeah. Sweet bull. Sucks he's all broke, but hey, we're in the zone, we think. This is definitely where they are wintering. He probably died right up here because of the snow. But let's get after it. All right, guys. Tried to video this last set I picked up. It's just a little deer set, but I'll show you at the end of the day. Memory card storage is full. So, but we're pushing on. We got one deadhead and one mule deer set. And we're just getting started. All right, Gary down there, just picked him up a little deer shed. I got up to here, found me a little two point. Sweet, let's keep going. Number three for me, and number four in total, as far as sheds, when we got the deadhead. Horse is doing good, so we're ready. All right, guys, just combing through this burn. Carson's over there, but got an elk shed finally. Not a bad one. All right, guys, we are gonna head back. Just, we think we're a little too high. Like they were up here probably last year, a couple years ago, but not seeing much fresh sign other than that dead bull. I think, and he just got caught up in the snow as it was coming at the top and died up there. And the rest of the elk is probably with drop down low. So we're gonna go back up to Karsten's deadhead and uh, pack it out and move on down. Well guys, we're walking around, trying and find Karsten's horse, his pack horse. Um, he hasn't ever had anything dead on him before. So we just kind of expect him to blow up. Just didn't think it was gonna be this extensive. But yeah, so we got a horse running around the mountain with a dead elk on the back of it. So we're trying to find it. And I got Karsten's horse. Well guys, no sign of Karsten or his horse, his pack horse anyway. Yeah, the horse he is riding right there. He is now on the Palomino I was riding. He's running around trying to find the pack horse and this horse is still pretty green I don't want to have another rodeo with another lost horse so we're just gonna keep hiking around and hopefully find it yeah hopefully we find it because I want to pick up some more sheds it's open in day right but hey it is what it is stuff happens we're about to have a rodeo right here the horse getting tangled up well guys we ran back into town, dropped off Karsten's truck and horse trailer and the other horses. Gary hopped in his truck. He's out mobbing around trying to find this horse. I um, mean, Carson came back up here to where we last rode and seen if we could find his tracks, find something. And, you know, either the deadhead, the saddle, the pannier, something that would let us know which way he went. And we got to the top of the knob over here. I glassed across the valley and I glassed up the horse. Nothing on him, but I glassed up the horse. At least we think it's him. It's a horse all by itself, but nothing on him. He's just sitting in the field right about where we turned around and decided we were going to go hit some different country. But good news is we got a horse in the same country. We were shit hunting, so. Hopefully it's him, hopefully we catch him. Whoa, 
Oh, oh, oh. Well guys, we never did catch flowers. And Karsten was so upset, which I don't blame him. He ended up loading up his other two horses and going home. But me and Gary are gonna go out tomorrow and take some other horses and hopefully we can catch him. Um, he should be back in that burn area because it's got the best feet around. And he no, no longer has a saddle obviously you seen in the video but we're gonna go in there and at least try to find something either the saddle or the horse and hopefully try to brighten up Carson's day that's an expensive loss and that was kind of his future that kid loves horses so we're gonna do everything we can to help him out and try to get this horse back to him but stay along for the ride